Hi there. So in this video, we're going to go through the last two tissue types out of the four that are found in the body. And collectively, these last two tissue types tend to be some of the easiest to be able to identify regarding histology. So we're going to focus on nervous tissue and then muscle tissue. And like the other tissue videos, we're going to start by discussing what makes nervous tissue nervous tissue, what makes muscle tissue muscle tissue, and then we'll get into a little bit more about the specific tissue types. So we'll start with nervous because that tends to be a little bit easier. Now, for the most part, nervous tissue really is just nervous tissue. The main things that you're looking for nervous tissue, especially when you're looking at neurons within nerves, you're looking technically for cell bodies with long string-like connections, right? And these may be the dendrites up at the top, the axons extending away from the cell body here. And a lot of times when you see nervous tissue, it's kind of going to look like this. You're going to see a bunch of string-like structures. These are all axons. And they're all connecting with each other, forming this vast network of cells that all interact with each other. And that's really, in essence, nervous tissue when you look at it. Now, where do you find nervous tissue? It shouldn't be surprising that you find it in the nervous system. So this is what your brain is made out of, your spinal cord, your nerves, and that's typically where you're gonna find nervous tissue. Now, of course, nervous tissue innervates multiple other tissues, but that's a topic for another different video. So let's jump into muscle. And muscle is also fairly straightforward to identify, especially when you have to compare muscle tissue from epithelial and connective and nervous tissues. Muscle tissue as a whole, what you're looking for are long fiber-shaped cells, hence why they're called muscle fibers or myocytes or really just muscle cells. And they're all connected to each other. And this is what's going to help you identify muscle tissue from the other tissue types. Now, of course, one of the big physical properties of muscle is the fact that they can contract, they can create tension. And they are excitable. Now, how do you identify the three different muscle types that you have in your body? You've got skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. Now, really, when you look at some muscle histology slides, the first thing you look for will be, is it striated? So what that means is if it's striated and it's obviously striated, you're most likely looking at skeletal muscle. And what it will look like is like this. You have long fiber-shaped cells and you will have dark striations and light striations. The dark striations are myosin fibers. The light striations are the actin fibers. And that's a topic of another different video relating to muscle physiology and muscle contraction. But myosin and actin are what physically contract to allow the creation of tension. Now, it if you see obvious striations, that's skeletal muscle. If you see some faint striations, then that might lead you down to the cardiac muscle path. 
but that's not even the most obvious characteristic of cardiac muscle. If you see a muscle in which you have the fibers, but then you start seeing branching, that right there is cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscle has extensive branching because that's what's going to allow for the ringing-like effect for when the heart contracts. The heart will contract and the branching will allow all that blood to be forced from the heart. So if you see branching, that's cardiac muscle. The other thing is, if you see dark bands that are scattered throughout the muscle fibers, those are intercalated discs. And the intercalated discs have desmosomes to keep the muscle cells connected and gap junctions to allow rapid synchronized communication. That's what you're looking for for cardiac muscle. So right here, if you see fibers that are straight with no branching but obvious striations with myosinactin, that gives you skeletal muscle. If you see some faint striations but obvious branching and in intercalated discs, that's cardiac. And then, how do you get the third muscle type, which is smooth? Pretty much, when you don't see striations, you don't see branching, you don't see intercalated discs, that's smooth muscle. Smooth muscle looks like muscle that is smooth for the most part. You're going to have long fibers in which you don't see striations, you don't see branching, you don't see intercalated discs. And that's it for muscle. Now where do you find these muscle types? Skeletal muscle attached to bone. That's for the voluntary contractions that you can generate with your body. Cardiac muscle as per the name, is found in the heart, and smooth muscle will be found in all of the visceral organs, especially the digestive tract and parts of the respiratory tract. Now you can add in urinary bladder um, as well, and blood vessels. So there we have it. There we have the last two tissue types, nervous tissue and muscle tissue.